Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to another video from 3D FBA. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, clearance items primarily at Walmart and Target. I personally have never had very much luck with clearance items from Walmart or Target and the reason why is most stores for the most part especially in like toys carry the same products so what happens is when target clearances out a specific toy every target clearances out the same toy and you have every reseller buying up the product and everybody races to the bottom so today I'm going to show you a few examples of what I've dealt with during my time um, on Amazon reselling items and I'll show you a few examples of clearance items that didn't work out very well for me so this first item, I had started selling on Amazon in October 2017. So one of my first like really good items was this Pioneer Women's Stainless Steel Tumbler. You know, it's like uh, an isolated mug you put your coffee in to take it around with you and whatever. So I was new and I was very cautious when I was purchasing. So you can see like here, they cost me $12.61. And they were selling on Amazon for $27.77. So I was making $7 profit here. And you can see the price stayed pretty steady for the first week or so that I was selling them. So you can see as the days went by, on the 18th, I was making $7.03. And then right after Christmas, they dropped to $2.13 profit. And it kind of stayed steady there. And I bought a bunch because I was making money at the beginning. So you can see the profit slowly sort of dropping on them. And then it became selling for, I held on to them hoping to recoup my cost. So you can see I didn't sell any for a full month. And I was hoping people would sell out. And they didn't. And you can see I started losing money, losing money. And, uh, you know, I was losing four dollars a piece at this point in late February, and the price kind of went up a little bit on the, this color because I was selling like purple, blue, silver. So some colors were worth more than others, but the price had dropped. So I bought all of mine at the the proper, or, you know, the original price. Cause I bought a whole bunch once I was making seven dollars a piece, but whenever they went on clearance because they were a, a, a Christmas item. People started buying them at less price or smaller prices and you can see they were selling for three dollars and two cents more than my original purchase price and I sold more beyond that like here I sold two lost ten dollars you know so a lot of losses on um, this clearance item or I bought it at regular price because I bought it before it went on clearance but once it went on clearance the price tanked you know so in a three month span the price dropped about ten dollars each on these um, tumblers you know so that was that was brutal especially when starting out and that was my first lesson on items that go on clearance from Walmart and Target because I've had the same thing happen to me at Target where I've lost money on clearance items you know but that was my first lesson and that was a very expensive lesson as you can tell so a current example, this was a toy I bought from Target. So they had these on clearance, including tax. It cost me $10.81 each. So um, let me type it in here in RevSeller. I would lose a dollar and a quarter each if I sold it at the current price. So you, I can go down and I'll show you when I bought this item. So I bought it at Target clearance, like I had said. And I bought it right in this range, and you can see using the Keepa graph, um, it was going for $25.93, $25.91, dollars $25 and then Amazon was on it. So every you can see the FBA sellers lowered their price to match Amazon's price, and then Amazon sold out again. And once Amazon got it back in stock, the price has now dropped to $17.00 and seven cents and that's because people are just trying to sell theirs they're racing to the bottom and Amazon is matching them so I'm kind of at a point luckily I only bought five they had like 20 of them you know but just to show you what happens 
is it was going for 25.93 was where it peaked. So at that point, I was going to make six dollars and twenty-eight cents a piece. So you're looking at in the period of three weeks, the price has dropped almost ten dollars in three weeks, and it's really because it's a clearance item and people everybody's bought them. You know, you're looking here. There's 69 sellers on it. The other day I looked, it had roughly 50. I think it was 53 sellers. So it just shows more people bought it, you know, sent it in. They want to sell theirs first, so they lowered their price. And this happens on a lot of clearance items. I can show you another one that I bought from Target. Here we go. So this toy here I bought for $4.31. So let me show you this item and what happened to it. Okay, so this I got on sale at Target. I paid, as you saw, $4.31 a piece. So let's wait for Rev Seller to pop up here. So the price has actually gone up a little bit. So at today's price, I would make about $1.70 each but if you come down to Keepa you can see here so mine sold oops, on May 25th so we come down here to May 25th it was going for about $9.70 but here when it first went on clearance price dropped to $6.99 you went from $8.03 to 609 in what a week less than a week five days it dropped like 25 percent you know whenever I bought it and I it was in this price range up here but once it went on clearance to target the price dropped you know so it dropped about ten dollars in less than three weeks a toy dropped in ten dollars and that's that's how fast it takes or that's how fast it goes when the price drops so you can see the price is slowly rebounding because all the people that bought it on clearance have sold probably sold through it and now the people that waited for them to sell through now they're starting to get their bottom price most likely is what happened you know so these are just some examples of what happens when you buy clearance I know there's a lot of YouTubers that are on there saying, oh, I went into 27 Walmarts and I picked up 30 or 40 of this toy and I'm going to make $20 profit each and they cost me $4. Um, it's not real. That doesn't really happen. That might be sh the, the price it's showing today, but I guarantee you if you buy toys and things like that on clearance at Walmart, you will have a race to the bottom just like this I can guarantee it now on the other side for grocery vitamins uh, pet food if you can get good expiration dates the prices don't tank on those product groups I've made a lot of money selling clearance groceries vitamins and um, pet food from Walmart and Target um, beauty I've seen the prices tank but not as bad um, but toys and um, like dishes and things like that the prices I can almost guarantee they will drop every single time just like these examples I've showed you here uh, so just just be careful you know I wanted to put this video out because right now Walmart Target and all these stores are going through their you know season their change getting in ready for Christmas so there's gonna be so much stuff on clearance and I just really wanted to warn everybody to be careful because you will lose money and you won't get what you expect buying clearance toys from Walmart and Target like other youtubers tell you you will so I appreciate your time and watching my video I hope you got some value out of this if you could like and subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it Leave any comments and I'll get back to you 